And hello there. So here's the uh, XFCE Mint 17 that I've uh, installed and I've themed. I've uh, put a dark theme on there and I've changed the icon set. Okay. And this is the Conky that I've installed. This is the Conky information that I've installed. Uh, showing that it's uh, Mint 17, Queena. Okay, so how do we do that? Again, we start Firefox, go to Noobs Labs, and this time we're going to look for Install Colors Conky. Okay, Install Colors Dash Conky in Ubuntu Linux Mint. Okay, so that's what we uh, are going to install. This is the Conky theme. Okay, X that off. Now it says what we need to do to start. Right, so we need to start a terminal. Now it says that we need to install uh, sudo apt get install conky then conky all. So we can get away with that by just saying sudo apt dash get space install space conky dash all. Press enter. Okay, enter your password, press enter again. Conky installs. Okay. So next we need to highlight this. So all this is doing is just downloading a file. So highlight it, middle button click to paste, highlight. Middle button click and enter. Okay, that's easy, isn't it? Right, so the next thing it's asking us to do is make a, um, a startup entry. So, okay, start set, go to settings, down to the bottom, sessions and startup, and then we look in application auto start, and then we click add. And we put a name in, so it's called Conky Start. So we'll call this Conky Start. Okay, click the Browse button. Go to our home folder. If we can't see any hidden files, which you won't, press Control H. And then we can see Conky Start. Highlight it. Click OK. Click OK again. Click Close. Okay, next bit. Colors for one CPU. Well, on this computer there's two CPUs so what we're gonna do we're gonna go down to the two CPUs oh man we'll go it's even got four CPUs but we're gonna use two CPUs okay so I need to highlight this and then middle click or right click and paste if I've copied it And that's downloaded. Okay, then I go to the next one, highlight, go back to terminal, middle button click, press enter. And all it does is install some 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 icons, uh, not icons, fonts for us, that's it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do to get Conky to work is we need to either log out or restart our computer or desktop so it's up to you we can either log out or restart okay so x that off so log out or restart desktop starts up again and after about 10 or 15 seconds Conky will start. Okay, so this is uh, how Conky is at the, the uh, default Conky on there. Okay, so this is the folder that all those uh, fonts are in, and this is the file that allows Conky to run. So first thing we need to do is copy, right click and paste, and that saves a backup of that Conky RC file. 
that's a dot file, so it's a hidden file, so you won't see it, so you must use Control H to see the files. Okay, let's put this out a bit. Now you can see the clock here. Now as we've already got a clock, we don't really need it. But let's have a look in the listing. So we're looking for clock. Okay, keep on going up, and there's the clock. Clock section. As I say, we've got the clock there. And what I'm going to do is put my cursor there, and I'm going to press the hash uh, sign, or I think the Americans call it a pound sign. Okay, and then go down again to the next line, press pound, which I didn't do on this time, as you can see. Okay, so you can see the clock has disappeared, okay? So, using the hash sign comments it out, okay? So, uh, here we can see that color zero is white. Now, I happen to know that I want to change the next one down to white as well. Click save, conky updates, and you can see the, uh, the CPU and the memory is far easier to see. Okay. So there's lots of different things you can do. So uh, I want to get rid of the kernel bit. So trying to search through it manually is going to be a pain. So I click find and I type in kernel as it shows. Okay. Close that and we can see kernel is there. So, what do we do? We comment those out using the hash. Okay, and I want to leave the uptime. The uptime is the next line. Okay, click save. And the kernel has disappeared, but it is showing how long that the system has been running. Okay. So that's how to make some changes. You can make changes however you want. If you've got another conky that you want to use, you can do this kind of thing as well. Okay, so let's X that off a second, and we'll go to my documents, and I'll go to uh, conky machine info. Now this is a, a little bit of a information I got out of another conky. Okay, and it's this section here. So let's highlight that. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to open my other .conkyrc file. Okay, press Control H. Let's go down. And there's the .conkyrc. Okay, so I'm going to look for the word system. So system is near the top, as you can see. Okay. So it shows up time. Okay, so if I make some lines there, press enter the here. I'll be back through if we put it up there, maybe better. Okay. Right, and then paste it in. And we click save. Oh, something's gone wrong there, isn't it? Okay, so by putting it in as it stood, it just disrupted that. Uh, it disrupted the con. So if we have a quick look, okay, so we've got uh, this section here, V offset. So if we delete that down, and then we've got another one. So we delete that down again till we've got the dollar sign in front. Click save. Okay. So that works. That's easy enough, isn't it? Okay, so as you can see, a little bit of playing around. And uh, we can change how the conky looks, okay? Again, this could be a case of trial and error in, in some instances. I just happen to know, or oh, educated guess, showing that that was that what the problem was. So if we delete that, and then we delete the top bit, Okay, so this is all we need to show Linux Mint 17 Quina. Okay, so let's see if that's so we can keep that for later. Okay, 
Okay, so any mistakes you made with, with, in Conky or anything, any problems you have, you can. Uh, let's just copy this away. <laughs> copy this first, is it? Let's make sure we got it safe. Right, so. Okay, there's the Conky RC file. But if you make any mistakes when you're playing with this, you've got the backup available for you. Yeah, you've got the copy of Conky.rc. And all you need to do is rename it. So you delete the copy of, and then you, it'll just go back in. So you delete the, uh, the messed up dot conky rc, and then you reinstate the backup of it. So as you can see, I've continued to change the conky a little bit. And um, this is how he looks in the end. <laughs> and you can see I've got a nice dark theme. I've changed the icon set, and as I said, we've added a conky. Okay.